this 22 years old male patient presented with complaints of decreased vision unable to open eyes in the bright light photophobia for the last few weeks he had of these oral ulcers visible on his gums as well when i checked his vision it was 66 with minus 1 and white quite conjunctiva and mild anterior chamber reaction there was no hypopoyan pupil was round reactive and regular and fundi were normal he said at the moment i had mild blurring of vision recurrent oral ulcers and recurrent genital ulcers on the scrotum as well when you get such spectrum of disease always think of bashes syndrome our patient was diagnosed case of bashes with treated systemic vasculitis in the form of jugular venous thrombosis and also had got transverse myelitis in the past bashi is named after turkish ophthalmologist hulusi bashi who described this disease in detail in 1922 so the most common feature of beshe are fts oral ulcers uh, recurrent here you can clearly see on the gums uh, many fts ulcers they recur again and again and followed by genital ulcers they can be on the scrotum on the penis uh, on the vulva here you can see in our patients uh, these recurrent ulcers are on the scrotum the third common feature after fts oral ulcers and genital ulcers is ocular inflammation in the form of non granulomatous anterior uveitis so with a transient mobile hypopoyan hypopoyan is mobile it shifts uh, it moves with head movements uh, so it's unique in comparison with hla b27 hypopoyan who has got high fibrin content and which doesn't move here you can see mobile hypopoyan in a quiet eye there is no perilimbal congestion and white eye in beshe's anterior uveitis beshe is very rare in our part of the world south asia but it is very common in the middle east mediterranean region and far east especially in japan now here uh, in the picture you can see a positive pathology test in our patient now what is pathology test it is a skin prick test and uh, the skin is hypersensitive when you insert a sterile needle under the forearm skin and you examine that part uh, after one or two days there is a form formation of small red bump which shows your immune system is hyperactive and overreacting to the minor injury and it's also one of the diagnostic criteria for beshe disease so here uh, in our patient uh, the pathology test was positive along with the fts oral ulcers genital ulcers and anterior uveitis mild uveitis in beshe is pan uveitis it can affect anterior segment as well as posterior segment so the special feature is it is an obliterative necrotizing retinal vasculitis that has unique feature of affecting both the arteries and veins in the fundus and the complications can lead to branch retinal vein occlusion cystoid macular edema and vitreoiditis you can clearly see in the picture uh, both arteries and veins are veins are affected retinal ischemia can lead to new vascular glaucoma as well and ophthalmologists should be aware that the picture may falsely give you diagnosis of acute retinal necrosis 25% of patients have affected optic nerve in the form of papillitis or optic atrophy secondary to vasculitis systemic vasculitis occurs in 25% of patients uh, our patients had jugular vein thrombosis uh, so he had systemic vasculitis history as well neurological involvement occurs in 10% of uh, beshe patients uh, cranial nerve palsy papillitis uh, superior sagittal sinus thrombosis uh, papilledema headaches strokes transverse myelitis as in our patient old especially knees ankles wrists and elbows so you should also ask in our patients he had mild arthritis 
and mild swollen knees. Beche is uh, idiopathic disease of unknown origin. HLA B51 is uh, associated with it. Diagnostic criteria contains recurrent oral aphthous ulcers, uh, recurrent genital ulcers, uh, skin erythema, nodosum lesions, uh, positive cutaneous pathology tests, um, and uh, Uveitis, pan uveitis, most commonly mobile hypopan, etc. Management depends corticosteroids for acute control of disease and maintenance on immunosuppressants. Like in our patient, he was taking a maintenance therapy of 10 mg delta cortil and 250 mg azathioprine, and his uveitis was well controlled, but now he had got recurrent genital and uh, oral uh, ulcers and mild uh, uveitis so for mild uveitis uh, he can take uh, topical steroids uh, and for the genital and oral ulcers uh, we refer the patient to dermatologist and hope uh, his genital and oral ulcers will heal as well the genital ulcers take longer time to heal than the oral ulcers antibiotic and steroid ointments are given for genital and oral ulcers. Thank you very much.